I can't hear you. What's up, my name is Mr. V here. Welcome to another video, guys. So in this video, I want to talk about some important news that I've been reading. Um, as a matter of fact, four important things that I've been reading that I think you guys should be aware of. And so how this would impact us moving forward as investors. So before we get started, guys, if you're new to the channel, we talk about how to earn money, how to save money, how to invest and build wealth. So if that's something that interests you, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on new content. So as you guys have seen, the market has been crazy um especially tech stocks and sparks they've just been going south just that little correction there guys again this is i know people that are new to the market are going to be panicking like crazy but if you um, understand how the market works you know that this is an opportunity for you to buy this is an, a, an opportunity for you to buy at a discount this is a sale this is like your black friday so i want you to take advantage of it remember back in march of last year when we had the the COVID crash and i was screaming my lungs out here like bye 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 like jim kramer um then look at what happened that year everything squeezed back up and just skyrocketed and people made a ton of profit so when you see opportunities like this this dip especially in the tech space the sparks um it's an opportunity for you to buy at a discounted rate because you know how the market works again guys is up is down is up is down you know it's going to bounce right back it's just a matter of time um i don't anticipate the market ever crashing and going down to zero that's never going to happen so when we when people see this they panic like crazy knowing fully where that it's going to bounce back off so i don't i still don't understand why people react that way it's hard for people to get into the market and not react that way the first time they see a pullback like this so i just want to put that out there so let's jump on take a, a look at some key important things that I, I actually read and i thought this is worth sharing with you guys because um the more you know the better for you as an investor the better uh, protected you are in the market and you continue to make good decisions so the first one here is uh, uh michael burry i don't know if you guys remember the, this dude from big shot the guy that sounded the uh, uh, alert or the alarm when um the housing bubble was coming up he sounded that uh, alert and nobody actually took him serious and then they made that uh, crazy movie and put it out there so this guy is actually shorting tesla this if you can see it here he's actually shorting tesla he thinks that volkswagen is gonna beat tesla in the electric space so as of december last year he shorted tesla that um again he says enjoy it while it lasts i want to find that particular quote right here so he actually says enjoy it while it, it lasts so this guy i mean from his own history that we know the fact that he sounded an alert and was smart about it and made a ton of money and nobody listened to him is now saying that hey watch out for tesla because tesla has actually ran up 600 percent since uh 2020 so he's like guys watch out but again he is saying this now because he has a position in in porch so if we go to porch company as a whole yeah, this is porch automobile holding so this is the one that this is the company that owns the company that owns uh volkswagen and porch itself the car so this is the, the main company so he actually owns a position in this company and he thinks that that company is going to beat tesla and the race for electric vehicle again he didn't really give us any uh, breakdown as to why he was going that way he just think that uh volkswagen is putting in a ton of work and uh investing a lot in the space so he thinks they're better again he could be doing this to pump the stocks that he has his money in but at the same time if he's shorting tesla then he's going to benefit from both angles so you're telling us that uh tesla is going to crash you're shorting it at the same time you're telling us that volkswagen is going to beat tesla you so that's the where it's going to so you go short on one you go long on another one that is really double dipping in my opinion so i mean i i love the guy i know that he was once right i'm still very a, a little bit on the fence here because i'm invested in tesla and i believe in tesla again this is not news that's going to make me want to sell my tesla anyways so i just want to point that out for you guys but this guy is blowing the alert so if we look at tesla right now tesla is currently trading at about 500 and um and 97 dollars i mean if we go back maybe three months ago this stock went to as high as 880 no i think tesla actually got to uh maybe 900 dollars at one point if i remember very well so we got up to about 900 oh anyways but right now tesla is sitting at 597 um i own tesla like i said i'm not going to sell it if i had money right now i'll be buying more of tesla that would be my strategy so that is news number one this is number two here number two is 
um, uh, Shamart, who is uh, you know, the guy that actually took Virgin Galactic public, has actually sold um, his stake in the company. So, you know, again, this is not like him completely out of the company. He sold his personal stake in the company, but his stake in the spark that took the company public is still is still with is still there. So he's not like completely out. But the fact that he's I mean they used the word dump, he's actually selling out. And the reason he said is because he wants to take the money and invest it in other opportunities that are geared towards fighting uh, climate change. So that's why he is selling out of this one. But again, I'm like if you are one of the guys, people invest in this company because they trusted you. And now you're dumping and really getting completely out. It's like that is a red flag. So if you can see, it did actually impact the price of the stock. So if you can see here, as right now sitting at about $27, uh, but it did pull back all the way to like 24. So that would have been a great opportunity for anybody that's not invested in this particular stock to get in. As a matter of fact, even at 27, to me, Virgin Galactic, the, the only issue right now is they are not profitable, but it's a company that is moving towards profitability so and i, I trust the management the management there so this is one that if you don't have a position in you can definitely open a position like i said this 24 down here would have been a great place for you but under 30 you're still not no wrong because if we just go back maybe three months ago this thing was up to about 60 dollars so just to give you guys some context so that is buying it at a really really bag in price there's something i want you guys to uh, be aware of and then uh the last one that i have here is kathy wood so kathy wood um act innovation fund has actually dropped 12 percent for the week um again here they, they, they declared so wiping out all the gains that she had for 2021 so far again uh if you take a arc invest you can see here right here it dropped to about um 107 106 there and then before squeezing back up now sitting at 116 but if you go back maybe about three months ago this thing got a high of about 150 156 so that is uh, i mean again at 10 105 106 to me that's still a steal um but we don't know what the bottom is and this is what i've actually told you guys several times guys when you're investing in a company i don't want you to go out and just buy a, a, no let's say 100 shares of that stock in a situation like this when there's a pullback in the market you start buying slowly so if if you wanted to you say okay under 110 that's my comfort zone i'm going to open a position here so you start looking on that 110 you say okay if you wanted to buy let's say 100 shares you say under 110 when it gets to 1 109 or 108 you pick up 10 or 15 shares it drops down to 107 or 106 you pick up another 10 you drop down to 105 you pick up another 10 just like that and then that way you're not going to sit there and think that you can time the market and find the bottom because nobody can really time the market and find the exact bottom so this is something that would benefit you um, in the future so there you go guys those are uh, some of the key things that i wanted to bring to you guys again tesla uh, the fact that they're, they're trying uh, michael burry is trying to short tesla and say tesla is going to crash and burn um, again, Virgin Galactic with Chamber actually selling some of the, his position, a huge position in that company. And then with Kathy Wood Art uh, Innovation actually dropping up about 12, 13% um, just in two weeks. So again, the fact that those things are happening, we can understand because the tech sector were uh, one of the sectors that actually bounced back really, really fast when we had the COVID uh, crash. So tech sector just it didn't even just bounce, but actually took a double bounce and went to the moon. Um, so a lot of those uh, companies that you know, kind of got in, some that went public, the valuation of this company just went crazy. So this is kind of like a little correction just to tell people like, hey guys, there's still ground zero. This thing has just been floating out there. Let's calm down and realize that this there's reality, just not just this floating around like that. So that is the, the reason why I think we're seeing this pullback, especially again in the tech sector, because if you look in other sectors, they're pretty stable. I looked at the defense uh, sector with Boeing, with Radeon, uh, with Lockheed Martin, they're sitting pretty good. They're not 
hurting as much as the tech sector is hurting. So you can actually see that. So again, uh, a great opportunity for you to take a step back and look at your portfolio and say, am I really covered? It, it, am I diversify enough in my portfolio so that you can give me some balance? So again, when you look at that diversification, you're thinking about tech companies, that's cool. You're talking about maybe defense, that's cool. You're talking about maybe financials, that's cool. You're talking about maybe manufacturing, that's cool. You're talking about maybe retail, maybe airlines um so if you can find one of those and make you a solid portfolio that would be a, a good way to go so again this is an opportunity for you to take a step back again and, and really assess what you have and where you want to go and see how that can help you the tech sector again guys is a winner i'm heavy tech I, i'm not even gonna just uh, i'm not gonna apologize for it i love the tech industry i, I love um innovation so when i see those companies coming up i always like jump in and invest in in, in strong good companies but again at the same time you want to make sure that your long-term portfolio actually cover it so one way that you can actually help yourself if you don't want to pick those individual stocks guys and i've talked about this a lot on the channel is for you to invest in etfs that does that coverage for you so you can find an etf that covers maybe manufacturing an etf that covers tech an etf that covers maybe um uh airlines so find those different etfs and then you buy four or five etfs and you're covered in the entire sector so that when the prices plummet like this in one sector those other sectors are still sustainable so that's another way that you could be thinking and going about it so let me know in the comment section what you guys think about this news do you think oh that doesn't really matter Tesla is going to be Tesla and do what Tesla does best or you think like boy if Tesla is crashing the entire market is coming with it. Let me know in the comment section. If you're new to the channel, we talk about how to earn money, how to save money, how to invest and build wealth. So if that's something that interests you, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on new content. Also guys, if you're looking to get started with investing, Webo is our broker of choice. Links in the description. If you sign up and deposit $100, you get some free stocks. And as always guys, do your due diligence, don't be a greedy savage and stay motivated.